Our next loft visit we come to Surrey to visit the fantastic lofts of Pat and Eric Cannon of Warmley. Good morning Eric. Good morning Keith. The garden looks fantastic for this time of year, February. Yeah, it's not too bad if we could only cage these moulds up, which yeah. is a bit of a problem, but otherwise I think it's going quite yeah, well. It looks in good form, mate. Yeah. You just recently won your third Merit Award from Pug. Yeah, yeah. I used to think it was easy, but now I don't know. No. I keep getting two in it, and the other one, like this year, just missed it. Yeah. So it's your third year. one? Yeah. And uh, as I say, it's not been going that many years, has it? No, I think it's been going about 20 years, and I think there's only been about 13 or something like that. So it's some, which is, uh, some achievement. Yeah, because I think the national is uh, a bit more difficult than most organisations because you've got such a wide break. Yeah. And, uh, sometimes you get a bit of luck with the wind, and sometimes you don't. That's it. If it started a few years earlier, you'd have won three others, I believe. Yeah, I mean, uh, Bluebird, she could have done it. She scored several times from four, three times in the first hundred. Julie Girl, she also did it. She scored several times from four and three times in the first hundred. And, uh, well, I mean, what was the other well, one? By then, Beauty. Oh, yeah, Beauty, yeah. That's <laughs> I know your opinion's better than you. Yeah, you do, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, she would have also done it, you know, and she also did quite well from Nance, too. Yeah. This is one of your best pigeons from Poe recently, Eric, isn't it? Yeah, I think she's quite a good pigeon. The first uh, time she went to Paul, it well, it was they were brought back to Saints, but she was 47th open then, and I think a, a longer fly would have done her better. But anyway, that was quite good. And then she was uh, six open Paul, and uh, then this year she was uh, hun I think it was about 170th open Paul after being attacked by a hawk, you know, the week before yeah. Paul. She was missing for two and a half hours. I thought she'd, uh, you know, come really come unstuck. But uh, yeah. I think, you know, she is a good pigeon. There's a bit of a cross this one, Eric, isn't there? Yeah. It a, I had a cock off Mike Spencer from Barnardswick. And, uh, well, that seems to hit in. Her mother was also a first section winner from Paul. So, uh, by and large, I suppose, you know, it's quite a well-bred hen. Let's talk about one or two of your best performances now, Eric. You used to like combine racing years ago, didn't you? Yeah, I think uh, I was younger and keener then, and everything had to be exactly right. You know, yeah. if I was a, a day out in the preparation of a pigeon, it used to annoy me because I thought I used to work out when I thought a pigeon was absolutely right, and I aimed for that condition. And uh, as I say, I well, we won the combine three times in the longest race, and we also won first combine demands. I think there's about eight thousand odd pigeons in that one. Then we were second combine uh, Nance. I think there was about five thousand odd in that one. And uh, as I say, three times first combine, the second combine. Uh, well, twice, uh, three times, uh, no, twice first combine uh, from Bordeaux and the second combine Nance and first combine Le Mans was done in two years and then I had to wait a few years to uh, until uh, Colm Alas came along to win the third time in the longest uh, channel race. Only bird on the combine today. Yeah, yeah, only bird on the combine and on the day and I think she was a damn good in and uh, I always remember when I sent her, I thought, well, I'll never ever get her fit than that, fitter. She looked a real pitcher. And I always remember when they were marking the pigeons, there was a, an old Scotch fan, Sir Jock Monson was marking them. He very seldom said much, you know, about pigeons. But he said, oh, this one, you know, seems to have handled quite well. And I've never really seen her fitter. And when she dropped, well, you, she never had a feather out of place. Fantastic performance, mate. Only yeah, burning I, down the combine. Yeah, I think she was a, she was a good pigeon. She won a section from power after that, Eric. Yeah, the next year she was first section, I think it was about 12th out from Paul. And she scored another couple of times from Paul. And she was 49th Open Nance National. Yeah. Which And also she left me some good pigeons in my loft. And also I lent a son to Gerald Stobbin, who uh, that also bred him a first uh, section one from Paul. Yeah, brilliant. So, uh, really, I suppose that's not too bad. And she's granddam of the national winner. 
Yeah, and uh, as I say, we then we I thought, well, I've got to move on. And what's the strongest competition? I think the uh, the national because it's a very wide break, and you get all the top fancies in it. Uh, you know, with a nice number of pigeons. Whereas combine racing, I know it's good, but it's more of an area fly. Corridor. Yeah. When you uh, you go in the national, I think your pigeon's got to break at the right time. Otherwise, you'll get it, but possibly it'll be that much behind. But somewhere they've got to be good enough to break. Yeah. And uh, that, I get more kick out of that combine, especially from Paul, the other. Com uh, national races don't interest me so much, but uh, I do like Paul because it gives us a nice 500 plus fly, and uh, I think it takes a good pigeon to, to win. Yeah. You won the Langston Gold Cup, Eric? Yeah, we've won that five times and three times runner up. Which, it's, uh, it's an average cup, isn't it? Pardon? It's the average cup in the national. Yeah, yeah, it's the best average of the three races. That's uh, Nance. Uh, uh, Paul and the young bird national and uh, I think even sometimes it's difficult to win the averages in clubs but when you win it in the national I think it's something special yeah. and uh, we've also won the three bird average six times and uh, we've won the section what, 16 times I think and I think about, I don't know, it must be about 13 times second section and about 12 times I think it was third section. So yeah. I suppose, you know, we haven't done too bad over the years and also from Paul, we've had uh, 73 p uh, times in the first hundred. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. Which, I suppose, you know, you can't grumble anyway. Yeah, you have first national from Sartilly, Young Birds? Yeah, yeah, not that I take too much notice of Young Bird racing, but, uh, you know, it's, it's still nice if you win it. And, uh, yeah, I was quite pleased with that. And, uh, well, one or two birds have done well in the national, in the young bird nationals. But, um... Second open pole? Pardon? Second open pole? Yeah, second open pole. Well, I think we were fourth open pole, sixth open pole, and, well, we've had hundreds of other positions yeah. from Paul. I think we've had as many as uh, 21 birds in the first, in you know, in the result from Paul. Absolutely brilliant, mate. And, uh, Plenty of times we've had 16, 15 and things like that in the result, which I know when you send a fair number of pigeons, you'll, you should get a few in there, but if they're not good enough, no matter how many you send, you still won't get them in. Eric and Pat's very smart loft is a converted 48 foot stable. It has three 12 foot sections and all the pigeons are raced on a natural system. These are a few of Eric's hens. They've only been parted off for about a week and they're going to be paired up next month, which is March. What families of pigeons are you racing, Eric? Well, I've had the same old family for years, really. Uh, one of the first pigeons, I suppose, the, the uh, loft was founded on was an old hen I called the Wiggins hen. Uh, she was a strange pigeon, really. She was a lovely looking pigeon, but uh, I remember when I used to try to get her to fly, she was one of the laziest pigeons I ever had, really. She would try to dive in another loft. You tried to chase her, she'd go up on the roof, and yet she could still score from the channel. She scored in the combine across the channel two or three times. And then one year I turned her to Lerick, 620 miles. She did that on the day, she was third section. And some of these pigeons today still go back to her. So being a 1950 pigeon, I think at least I knew she was sound. And I've always thought it's better to have something you know about. Yeah. And they are sand, but you've got, obviously you've got to bring crosses in. I had a very good pigeon from uh, uh, Fears. I've had, well, I've had one or two of the Fears best pigeons, and I found they've crossed him very well. Tom Gilbertson's, they've crossed him very well, and now Michael Spencer. And I also had a good hen from uh, a chap, oh, damn it, I can't think of his name now. <laughs> Terrible, isn't it, as you get old? But, uh, uh, I shall think of it in a minute, but the wood, that's right, wood of Horsham, yeah. I, off his pride of Sussex, and that bred some good pigeons.
but as I say, I don't think you want to keep diluting your original strain too much. They've got to be kept up to date as winners, and that little bit of a cross, yeah. it just makes that bit of difference, puts that bit of vigour into them. But you've got to be very careful on a cross because as much as it could do you good, it could ruin what you've got. Yeah. This is Karma Channel Queen in Eric, your latest merit winner. Yeah. She's also scoring other national races, isn't she? Yes, she scored in the Young Bird National, and as I say, she's been three times in the first hundred, which you know gave her a certificate of merit. And this year, she was under an 83rd open pool. But uh, really, due to hawks, I don't think a lot of the pigeons, including her, had a fair chance, really. No. Because uh, the week before pool, due to a hawk attack, as I say, someone were missing from the loft for an hour or so. In fact, the sixth open pool, and she was gone for two and a half hours. Yeah. Terrible, Which mate. certainly don't help them. They want to be nice and relaxed instead of, you know, being chased all over the yeah. sky. What's her nest condition for Poe? Uh, she's, well, about 12 days sitting. I, I think a real good pigeon, you can nearly send it in any condition. Tell us a little bit about your management, Eric. Well, I generally pair up with, say, about mid-March. Round about that, if you maybe a few days either side, just depending, so I get a nice run up to Paul. And uh, really, that's all it's about. And with training, uh, I think I don't over train, but I do train harder when I think I need them to come in a certain condition. But now, I think with this halt business, I think I've got to train quite a bit harder because it's very difficult letting them out. Sometimes yeah. you, can't, you can't let them out. And if you do get an attack, well, the pigeons clear right off. You might not see them for an hour or two, no. where a pigeon needs to be nice and relaxed to get them fed. But, uh, Where's most of your train from, the south coast? Yeah, Maine. This is Eric's champion cock, Carmel White Flight. He scored first section, 14th Open Pole National and other national positions. This is Eric's wife, Pat. She's a great worker with the pigeons. She does all the training and a lot of the pigeon management. A wonderful lady. This is one of your latest champions in Eric, Colma Expected. Yeah, she's quite a nice hen. As I say, she scored four times from Paul. She's been twice in the first hundred, and this year she was just unlucky. She was hundred and third, so just missed the award. Just missed the award, but uh, I think she's a, a good end, and uh, she's with a cross of uh, Fear Brothers, who I always rate very highly, and uh, it's really nice to see that cross has proved, you know, good. Well, Eric, thanks very much for showing your pigeons today, mate. As I say, it's. Uh, it's a pleasure to have you down here anyway. That's great, mate. Makes a change, you know. <laughs> you just want to have a look at the pigeons and try to play snooker.